Hey guys, it's Ashley Simone here. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to get a video out last night. I just been tired, y'all. I'm, I'm still tired, honestly, but I'm gonna get this word out. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the angel Gabriel, and I'm looking at my notes if y'all see me looking to the left or to the right. Um, one of the first things I wrote down about him or her um he, i'll address him as i'm going to address him as a he but um one of the first things i wrote down is he's only there's only two angels who was mentioned throughout the bible and he's one of them the other angel name is michael and um one of his first appearance was in the book of Daniel. And Daniel is was a person who was good at interpreting dreams. And he, he had plenty of visions. Um, God spoke to him. He was a prophet. And the king or the priest would, he would search for people in his kingdom to interpret dreams. But nobody could interpret the dream. But if they called on Daniel, Daniel came through. Nobody even had to tell Daniel what the dream was. Daniel went to God himself. God showed him what the dream was. And he went back to the king and was telling the king exactly what he dreamt without the king even telling him what the dream was. And he explained it, explained everything to the king, telling him what was going to happen and stuff like that. So Daniel was just that good. But there came a time where Daniel had this dream. Um, as I remember it, it was about a goat with uh, um, one horn in the top of his head. And I think a ram with two horns. And I think one of the horn was bigger than the other. I can't remember clearly. But Daniel didn't know what that dream, that dream meant. So he went to God in prayer trying to figure out what was God trying to tell him. And God sent Gabriel to answer his prayers. God sent Gabriel to explain to Daniel what the dream meant. So that was his first appearance. And that was that was that was a serious um point, a serious situation because it was wartime. Yeah, it was most definitely, a, it was a big war coming up ahead. Um, and then another, um, another, I don't want to call it stories because it's not stories. It's really, this, this stuff really happened. But um, another story, I'm going to just call it that, <laughs> was when... Um, when Gabriel went to the mother of Jesus, Mary. When, from my understanding, Mary was was in prayer already. She was already seeking to hear from God. I'm not sure what she was praying about or even if she was asking for anything or whatever, but Mary was already in prayer. She was in a deep prayer. And as she was praying, Gabriel showed up. He showed Gabriel up. showed up. He showed up to let Mary know that she was about to carry Jesus himself. And Mary was like, Mary, it's not that she didn't have faith that that could happen to her with her being a virgin and she wasn't even married yet. But she didn't understand how it could happen. So Gabriel went and on to explain to her that if Elizabeth, which I think Elizabeth is her aunt, if she can conceive a child when she's been trying for years and she's old now, why can't God make her a mother without having intercourse or having a a husband to have this baby with? So that was Mary's only question. And after Gabriel told her that, she ain't had no if, ands, or but. She said... Lord, let your will be done. And that was it. And 
um her husband mary's husband joseph joseph was like well he, they wasn't married yet they was about to get married like this was like in the beginning <laughs> before they even got married so like mary had to tell him that she pregnant and joseph was like really in shock like how can you be pregnant we ain't even married yet i know you a good girl i know you went out here sleeping with people getting pregnant and stuff and she wasn't she she was carrying jesus so gabriel god also told gabriel to go talk to joseph and to explain to joseph that she was carrying jesus and he also told joseph that jesus name meant to save he will save his people from their sins. So he explained that to Joseph, and Joseph was like, "Okay, cool. Let's get married. Let's do it right now. We're going. You're going to be pregnant with Jesus. We're going to carry. You're going to carry this baby. We're going to get married, and we we're going to take care of this child because this child is from God. And that's what they did. And then Gabriel was seen when she went to Zechariah. Zechariah was also a pro a prophet. And what happened in that story, Zechariah was married to Elizabeth, which Elizabeth was um Mary's aunt. I believe that's her aunt if I'm not mistaken. And um that's who um, Gabriel was talking about when he told Mary if she can get pregnant when she's been trying to conceive and she old, God can God can put a baby in your stomach. So, so Gabriel went to Zachariah. He told Zachariah, your wife is about to get pregnant and she's going to be carrying a baby named John. She's going to be able to conceive. He didn't, he didn't believe it. <laughs> he didn't believe it. So, the angel Gabriel muted him. He could not talk. He could not say anything to nobody until that baby was born. And he did it. He wrote down. Only thing he said, I remember, um, is he wrote down his name will be John. That's the only thing he could tell the people or tell his wife. And um, it was John the Baptist. Um his wife at an old age had John the Baptist and John the Baptist is very important. He was very important. He, he was, he came before Jesus. He came before Jesus baptizing everybody. So, um, in Matthew 11 and verse 11, Jesus said, there's nobody greater than John the Baptist, although the very least in the kingdom of God will be greater than him. So, John was very important, and I say that to say that each time Gabriel appeared in the Bible talking to these different people, it was an, an important time, a very important time. And he he announced some very important people. He announced the birth of Jesus. He announced the birth of John, and he announced when that big that big war was going down that was a really big war y'all i really need to study on that because i'm not too sure about everything that happened but i know it was a big war it was a big war because i think it was king alexandria alexandria but i know he ended up dying in like four major kingdoms not kingdoms but i guess you call them kingdoms four major um places were formed after his death but it was it's really important i'm gonna study on it and come back with a video about that one day so gabriel that's that's god's one of god's right right hand um he he also said to Zachariah, I remember this. He said to Zachariah when Zachariah didn't believe, and Zachariah was like, "How how do I know this is true?" Gabriel was like, "Listen, I stand in the presence of God." That right there, that's a, that's a word all by itself. He stands in the presence of God. So how could you question somebody who who stands in the presence of God? Like, 
God told him, God told him to deliver these messages. Like, believe what I say. Believe. You got to believe. And, um, what else did I write down? I think that's about it that I wrote down, but all of his messages that Gabriel delivered was points to the coming of Jesus Christ. Like, he's, he was very, he is very important because God still uses his angels every day to help us daily. We need our angels. And Gabriel has the ability to be in more than one place at one time. And I thank God for him. I thank God for all of his angels. I thank God for himself. I just, I thank God. I thank God for everything. And another thing I saw that they're saying that Gabriel is really Noah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but just a little funny. It's not, I can't say it's a fact, but just a little something I ran across saying that Gabriel is really Noah. I don't know, but it was kind of interesting to me. Maybe I'll look more into it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But all I know is Gabriel stands in the presence of God. And that's all I need to know about him. But he's a great angel. And I pray that God blesses him over and over and over again. But y'all, I think that's it for right now. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed day. I'm trying to make sure there ain't nothing else I need to say. Um, if you know this person is communicating with God, listen to them. They wouldn't. They're not lying to you. I'm sure God will reveal who they really are to you or who they really are to Him. How how he uses them. God will reveal it to you. Pray and ask. Pray and ask God to show you. Just like everybody who encountered, not everybody, but just like um, Daniel. He was having dreams, but he needed more information and God sent Gabriel to answer his prayers. So if you're questioning if something is real or if something fake or if it's from God or not, pray. Pray and ask God, and he'll tell you. He will tell you. He might just send Gabriel to tell you. <laughs> he will. He will. He will. So, y'all, I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. I I think I'm going to be back with another video tonight. Um, I'm going to try. I'm just not sure what I'm going to... Oh, I haven't talked about my dreams that I had last night, and I haven't talked about those because I'm not... I'm still trying to figure them out myself. So, if... God allows me to figure out what these dreams I had meant. I will be back on tonight to explain them. If not, I will be back in the morning to talk to you guys. I love y'all and have a blessed afternoon. Bye. And look at that, y'all. I just talked about everything that I needed to do to figure out what my dreams meant because I don't know so I'm going to pray about it and I'm going to ask God what my dreams meant and I'll be able to come and tell y'all the dreams and explain to y'all what it meant because I don't know and now I know exactly what I need to do <laughs> but y'all I'll see y'all later love y'all